Hi all and welcome to this video for evaluating biogas production in ECAM. In this video I am in the treatment stage of sanitation and I will show you all how to evaluate biogas production and within that the fates of biogas and then finally how to adjust the rest of the assessment for the fact that you are now digesting sludge and also adjusting for produced electricity. Just to recap or to show you all, I am using the same wastewater treatment facility that I used in the other sanitation videos. I have created a copy and in this copy I will now enter sludge digestion that produces biogas. I start this process by toggling yes for producing biogas from anaerobic digestion. Here, like many other places in the sanitation treatment section, there are some estimates I can use. The biogas volume produced, that might be something that you really know for your facility, so make sure to check that, but there is this estimation. Then you have the various fates of biogas. Here, they should all add up to be 100, but you can adjust for the utility that you have. So in this case, I am going to put 98% for biogas valorized as heat and or electricity, and then have the 2% that is being leaked to the atmosphere because my system is unlikely to be correct, to be perfect. Then you have the percentage of methane in the biogas. This is something you might know for measurements of your methane, or you can use the default value of 50%. Um, the fuel type, if your digester is using fuel, then you can select a fuel type and enter the amount of liters per your assessment period. In this case, I will skip that since I'm working with a theoretical anaerobic digester. And then also this energy efficiency for biogas valorization. The default value is 43%. Um, if you know something about your process, of course, you can change that. And then ECAM even gives you this estimate for energy produced. This is something that if you're working in a real utility, you will definitely know. But in this case, since I am working in a hypothetical utility and seeing what would happen if I were digesting biogas, then um, I'm using this default value. So now we can already see in our output section that there are some new outputs, for example, moles of biogas, biogas produced, usage of biogas, um, energy production for wastewater, and also these GHG emissions avoided in wastewater treatment. The other thing to note about adding biogas production to your assessment is that this then means that you are digesting digesting sludge. Since this assessment was already made and was not considering digested sludge, we have to go through and check and make sure that we can adjust our assessment to digested sludge. So there's just one place in the top section where this is relevant, that's in the BOD5 removed as sludge. Here you can see that there is this second opposite uh, option with anaerobic sludge digestion. So I'm going to select that. Then if you are evaluating your sludge storage and fate, there are also multiple options for what kind of sludge it is. In this case, we're going to change it all over to digested because it is being digested before it enters the disposal phase. There we go. So now we have adjusted the rest of the assessment to fit the digested sludge. The other thing that you can adjust for is that now this facility is producing electricity. And in this case, the facility is producing more electricity than it needs. So one option is to assume that the facility is using the electricity that it produces. This is not automatic in ECAM, so you do have to go back then to the first data entry section and then change the amount of energy consumed from grid. In this case, I'm going to go all the way down to zero because we're producing more electricity than we are using.
then the, uh, the results shift again to reflect that. Great, so now we've included biogas into our assessment. I hope that this was helpful for you all, and happy assessing.